The Unified Extensible Firmware Interface or UEFI is a specification that defines a software interface between an operating system and platform firmware. UEFI possesses many new features and advantages that cannot be achieved through the legacy BIOS and it is intended to replace the legacy BIOS firmware that is prevalent on earlier machines. Windows 10 is one of the operating systems that support UEFI boot. So, in this video I will show you two methods to create a Windows 10 bootable USB drive with UEFI support. Let's get started. Before we start if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. Take a few seconds to subscribe and click bell icon to get all notifications of our latest updates. To create a Windows 10 UEFI bootable USB drive using Media Creation Tool, first launch the Microsoft Edge browser. Now type the URL microsoft.com slash software dash download in the address bar then press enter and you will be directed to Microsoft official download page. From here you can download Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7. Click Windows 10. Now you will be redirected to the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool download page. Before you download the tool make sure you have an internet connection, sufficient data storage available on a computer, USB or external drive for the download. A blank USB flash drive with at least 8GB of space or blank DVD if you want to create media. Download the tool by clicking the Download Tool Now button. When you click the Download Tool Now button, your browser will start downloading the tool immediately to your computer. Once the download is completed, double-click on the downloaded file to launch the Media Creation Tool. If the tool is not launching, then make sure your Windows 10 user account has administrative privileges. Because you need to be an administrator to run this tool. On the Applicable Notices and License Terms page, after reading the License Terms, click the Accept button. Next, on the What Do You Want To Do page, if you want to upgrade the PC that you are running the tool on, select Upgrade This PC Now and click the Next button. After downloading and installing, the tool will walk you through how to set up Windows 10 on your PC. But we are here to create Windows 10 bootable USB, so select Create Installation Media for another PC, and then click Next. On Select the Language, Edition, and Architecture page uncheck the Use Recommended Options for this PC checkbox to select the language, Windows Edition, and Architecture from the available options that you want to use for creating the installation media. Alternatively, you can leave the Use the Recommended Options for this PC box checked to automatically select the language, edition, and architecture that match the PC you are running the tool. Now click the Next button. Next, you have to choose which media to use. Here two options are available, USB flash drive and ISO file. Selecting USB flash drive will create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive. And selecting the ISO file will save a Windows 10 ISO file to your PC, which you can use to create a DVD or bootable USB drive. We want to create a Windows 10 UEFI bootable USB. So, select the USB flash drive option. Now attach a blank USB flash drive with at least 8GB of space. Any data on the flash drive will be deleted, so make sure there is no important file as in the USB drive. Click the Next button. Now select the USB flash drive you attached from the removable drives list. If the attached drive is not on the list then refresh the list by clicking Refresh Drive List. After selecting the USB drive, click Next and the tool will start downloading Windows 10. Downloading time will depend on your network connection.
Once the download is complete, the tool will automatically prepare the Windows 10 bootable USB drive with UEFI and legacy BIOS support. Now your Windows 10 bootable USB drive is ready. Click Finish to exit the tool. You can use this drive to install Windows 10 on any PC with UEFI or legacy BIOS firmware. Now I will show you how to create a Windows 10 UEFI bootable USB drive using a third-party tool called Rufus. If you already have a Windows 10 ISO file then this method will be suitable for you. To know how I downloaded this ISO file, check out my other video on how to download Windows 10. I have added a link to that video down in the description. To create a Windows 10 UEFI bootable USB drive using Rufus, first launch the Microsoft Edge browser. Now type the URL rufus.ie in the address bar then press enter and you will be directed to Rufus homepage. Scroll down and from the download section, click the link to download the latest version of Rufus. Clicking the download link will immediately start downloading the software to your computer. Once the download is completed, double-click on the downloaded file to launch the tool. One of the cool features of Rufus is that it's a standalone application, so you don't need to install it. Once the tool is launched, attach a blank USB flash drive with at least 8GB of space. If you have multiple USB drives attached to your system, then you can select your preferred drive in the device section drop-down menu. Any data on the flash drive will be deleted, so make sure there is no important file as in the USB drive. Next under the boot selection section, select disk or ISO image option. Click the select button next to the drop down menu to select the Windows 10 ISO file. From the image option drop down menu, select the standard Windows installation option. Next, select the GPT option from the Partition Scheme drop-down menu and select the UEFI Non-CSM option from the Target System drop-down menu. You can leave default settings for all options under Advanced Drive Properties. Under the Volume Label Text field, enter a descriptive name for the drive. Next, leave the default settings for the File System and Cluster Size sections. Now click the Show Advanced Format Options button. Make sure the Quick Format and Create Extended Label and Icon Files options are checked. Rufus is now ready to create your Windows 10 bootable flash drive. Click the Start button to begin the process. On clicking the Start button a warning message will appear that all data on your device will be destroyed. Click OK to continue with the process. Now Rufus will start preparing your USB drive, this will take a little time depending on your system specification.
Once the process is completed, click close to exit the tool. Now your USB drive with UEFI support is ready. You can use this drive to install Windows 10 on any PC which supports UEFI boot.